Hey what's up guys Romodi here back with another exciting Photoshop tutorial and in today's tutorial we are going to convert a black and white image into color image and the great thing about this tutorial is we are going to do it without any kind of selection tools so let's get started so this is our original image and after the coloring it will look something like this so let me explain uh, let me create a new document so I can explain it pretty better so first of all unlock your background there double click on it hit ok if you won't do it don't worry about that it's not necessary now here you can see adjustment layer option where you are going to select hue and saturation and for the people who are new to Photoshop let me explain it real quick first of all uh, we are going to check the colorize option and then when you change the hue it will change its main color and when you increase the saturation it will make it even dark or pure whatever you call and if you bring it down it removes the color from it it's simple and lightness as you can see it's playing with all the light part of the image now first of all let's start with the skin mm. Here you can see I have selected my mask thumbnail and now I'm going to press Ctrl I. So it will hide all the color that's on that hue saturation layer. It's there but it is hidden. So here I have selected my brush tool and my foreground color is white. And if you do not have black and white as foreground color just press D and you will have your foreground color black and white. So make sure your foreground color is white and now select your mask thumbnail and start painting and she is looking like Hulk <laughs> don't worry we can change that double click there and we can change the hue until we are satisfied with the color so that is looking like some skin color that's not perfect but that's looking good now again select your mask thumbnail and paint with white so this way you will have to paint all over her skin and once you are done it will look something like this after you are done with the skin you are just going to repeat the same process for the everything you want to color now let me explain the most difficult part and that is hair I mean I have seen a lot of tutorials and nobody explains how to paint this rough edges of hair I mean either they use the image that doesn't contain this type of hair or they do not explain I don't know why but I found a way I was just playing with the Photoshop and I found a way to paint this hair without any kind of problem and it blends perfect so let me turn on my hair layer which is this one and here are some patches laziness you know <laughs> and now the most important part which is edge of the hair so let me turn on the background for that also as you can see it is blending pretty good and for that what I did was while I was painting the hair with my brush tool as you can see let me remove some of the colors so I can explain now when I was painting the hair when I started to paint the edges I just dropped down the my opacity to maybe 40 50 it may it depends on her image and then I started painting on her hair little roughly I mean you do not have to be accurate for it and then when I was painting her background the same method uh, what I did was I just roughly painted the background and then when it came to paint all the edges I just did the same thing but I just increased opacity a bit and I painted over her hair so as you can see it is blending really nice with the background it is almost seamless so see this way you can do any kind of hair fur or this kind of difficult things which are really pain to select or color this way you can do anything so using the same method I painted her lips and then eyes 
her dress and anything left mm, yes her high eyebrows so I painted her eyebrows as you can see here and her nose patch yeah this is also important part let me increase the opacity completely when I did paint her skin it was looking good but the part where it was deep it was like deep shadows inside her nose holes so for that what I did just I have a Wacom so it's really easy to paint with it with that and what I did was just painted some pure black color on her nose holes and I dropped down the opacity maybe 50 60 or until I was happy and with that you can see that it adds a lot of depth in that image so thanks for watching guys if you like my tutorials please leave a comment and if you have any questions or anything you can ask me and if you want some future update you can subscribe to my channel there will be new tutorial every week or maybe sometimes three or four tutorials every week so subscribe if you want and thanks for watching goodbye take care be creative